Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you everywhere, but only your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I want to talk about Demetrius Andrade versus Saul Canelo Alvarez. This is a fight that's been supposed to happen. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people are casual fans. A lot of people want to get on and disrespect Demetrius Andrade. Uh, why? I don't know. Um, like I said in another video, what he did wasn't disrespectful. By showing up to the press, a post press conference, you know, asking Canelo Alvarez for a fight. My problem with Demetrius Andrade is that he's not consistent in asking for the fight. And also, Demetrius Andrade, which you know I'm a fan of yours, big fan of yours, you have to relinquish that title right now and go to 168 in order to get that fight with Canelo Alvarez. You know, uh, I think that's very necessary for you to do if you really want that fight. But a lot of people don't know and act like they don't know that. Demetrius, I mean, Canelo Alvarez has been ducking <clears throat> um, Demetrius Andrade for years, from 154 to uh, 160 and to 168. Actually, uh, Canelo Alvarez had a chance to be undisputed. You know, after he uh, was given the titles from Triple G, he had an opportunity to fight Demetrius Andrade, which he had a WBO title at 160, which he holds now. And Canelo Alvarez ran. He went up to 168. He left. See, I commend Canelo Alvarez for wanting to be undisputed at 168, but we also had to remember you could have did it at 160. And once again, you ran from Demetrius Andrade. You know, uh, he says that Demetrius Andrade is a horrible fighter, that he fights nobody. Well, one of the reasons Demetrius Andrade can't fight anybody is because he's so good. And you're saying that he fights nobody, like Demetrius Andrade said. Rocket Fielding, Lime Smills. Ambry Yildrums, all those other fighters, they never fought nobody, but yet you gave them a chance at your titles. So I think people need to understand and see that, you know, this is more Canelo seeing that Demetrius Andrade is a threat. Because if he wasn't a threat, why would you have ducked him from 154 to 160? And if he should move to 168, he'll probably duck him in too. Now, like I said, I commend Canelo Alvarez for his journey on being undisputed at 168. I give him a shout out, you know. But um, people need to calm down about Canelo. Um, Canelo can be beat. Billy Joe Sounders, you know, if his eye wouldn't have got injured, in my opinion, would have won on the score cards by outboxing Canelo. Canelo is a great fighter. He's a talented fighter. But, you know, to say that he's the number one great, number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world, you know, we're going to have to see about that. You know, as of right now, I say that because he's consistent and he fights. He's in a continuation of fights. You know, so um, a lot of people argue whether it's Terrence Crawford is and other. Terrence has to fight somebody. I'm a fan of Terrence Crawford as well. But I just wanted to get on here and let people know, you know, this is a fight that needs to happen. But Demetrius Andrade needs to move up to 168, then Chase Canelo. Because right now at 160, you calling his name out. Really don't do anything for you. You know, um, but Canelo in my opinion does not want to fight Demetrius Andrade I think he sees him as a problem um he says I mean just go by what he's saying you saying he's a horrible fighter then get in there and fight him like you fought Yildrum Lion Wilson and other fighters but that's just my opinion on it my take on it. this easy work boxing please like comment and subscribe to the channel please donate if you can please hit that notification bell we out